Hey guys, welcome to a new video and we're just going to get straight into it. So first off, you're going to want to make sure you're on Minecraft version 1.17. Go ahead, create a new world, make sure it's on survival. And we're trying to do this the easiest and quickest way, so we're going to make the difficulty peaceful. You're then going to want to go into more world options and put in this seed on screen now. It will also be in the description if you just want to copy and paste it. Go done and we're going to create a new world. Now once you spawn in, you're most likely going to want to turn around and somewhere nearby there should be a ruined portal. You're going to want to go up to the ruined portal, find the chest and inside there will be a set of items. However, we're only going to want four items which is an axe, flint and steel, obsidian and uh, pickaxe. You then want to go ahead and get at least 10 wood, however I recommend getting to be safe 12 to 14. We're then going to want to go ahead and make that into uh, oak logs. And then we're going to want to craft a crafting table. In that crafting table, craft a boat. Make sure to pick the crafting table back up. And then we're going to want to destroy the one block of netherrack in the way. And place down our two obsidian blocks to make the portal complete. And then we're going to want to go ahead and light the nether portal and enter the nether. When you enter, make sure to look for this little part here with the tree. And we're simply just going to want to dig down a bit till we get to this open netherrack area. And then as you can see, there's two bastions, but we're going to want to head straight forward and into this hole here. Then we're going to want to go ahead, place down one of the boats that you built. And if you want to do it safe, just land on this middle part here and then make it down and make sure not to land in any lava. Get out and um, in these chests is just uh, some netherite ingots and two diamond armor pieces in both these chests. Um, and then you're going to want to go ahead and make a little path. I would recommend doing these blocks as you go as it helps for getting out afterwards. Here you're going to want to mine two blocks from that wall and just mine straight through. And now we're in the next bastion and just like before make it a little path with any blocks really just so you know how to get back out as that is very crucial after you get all this gear. And then in these two chests there's two more diamond pieces uh, that we need. And in this chest, uh, some iron, which we do need, and also a diamond sword, which helps for some early game loot. Go ahead, place down your crafting table, make the blocks of iron into iron ingots, place two at the top and four wood blocks to make a smithing table, and then go ahead in that smithing table, get all your diamond pieces and the netherite ingots, and go ahead and craft your full set of netherite armor. It is literally as easy as that, uh, on peaceful mode you can pretty much do this first try no problems as you can see by my inventory we start off with pretty good loot like even just regardless of the netherite armor we have some decent stuff another thing you can do here is grab your iron ingots and make an iron pickaxe and get a load of the gold and stuff but basically we're going to want to follow those blocks we made to know where to go back to um, to find our way and then here we're going to in the middle want to look for a spot where we can basically just climb straight back up um, and the reason for this is that there isn't enough obsidian, obviously through trading gold and stuff you could get enough obsidian to make your own portal, but realistically for the easiest way to do this it's easiest to just follow the way we came and to go back through the original nether portal that we had. The reason the video is also titled in under one minute is speedrunners in the normal difficulties have been able to get full netherite armor in under 40 seconds using this seed. But once you climb back to the top you're going to want to look for where you came from and um, you're basically just going to want to go back the exact same way and uh, build up. But yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. Instead of it being a speedrunning video like most of my things, I decided to turn this instead into a tutorial that you guys can use uh, to get a bit of a boost in your own worlds off the bat. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it would mean a lot if you could leave a like or even consider subscribing. Hope you have a good one. Peace.